Good morning. We are on our traditional Father's Day weekend trip here, me and the boys and the dog. Yep. And we are off to truck show. Now, it's not a normal truck show like you guys would think, like pickup trucks and stuff, although there will be some of those there. But this is classic uh, vintage semi trucks. So come along for the ride and we'll show you guys all the cool trucks. Okay, we're at the show and I'm gonna walk around with you guys. I'm not gonna talk a whole bunch, but I want to make sure you guys get to see all this incredible old iron. Mostly semi trucks, but there are, um, the gentleman that owns this place has a collection of internationals as well as old square bodies. And I will walk you guys through all that. 379, that is a 364, I think, cab over. These are all inner operator trucks, some are collector trucks, but that's not that was going, but you know those trucks were really honestly made back in the day. Uh, now here's some stuff that they just rescued last week. So this is one of their personal trucks they use for hauling. You can see they save old semi trucks all the time here down in Utah and California. This is an old international 4200 right here. Caterpillar motor, or no, Cummins motor, excuse me. And you can see all that. That's an old Caterpillar 1674 needle nose pool girl. Bakersfield, California, it says. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Why you guys oh, sorry. look out here. You've got a weird looking <laughs> red. So, this is another 350. Nine short hood. See, they saved that one. Old visor, original paint. That one just. This whole load of trucks they just brought back this last week. Old Kenworth dump truck. I think that's a nine nine hundred. Slide by you? Yeah. Okay. Score two. Score two, buddy. Caterpillar crawler. Isn't that cool? I keep walking around. You guys are going to love this. Old RGN trailer. side of that 4200 Cummins Transtar International they just brought that back you can see this is on a conventional gooseneck tandem dual behind a one-ton dually pickup so I mean I can get some of this stuff done look at the paint in detail on this this is an old 352 Peterbilt cab over they redid everything on this truck except the cab All original. 
my favorite things about this truck, all original cab, but everything else is brand new. It's beautiful. About a 265 wheelbase. Old Mack truck, I didn't see those very much. That's pretty awesome. through the middle. It's just a sea of beautiful Peterbilt. <clears throat> That's a Kenworth W900A 379. Another 379 day cab behind that. <coughs> tell you what, Trucks are nicer than most people's pickups. Legend trucking company right there. Go down right next to you here, sir. Oh, sorry. No, you're yeah. fine. You're fine. Don't worry about it. KB6, how about that? Yeah. Guys, look at that. Look at this thing. 1948. Let's zoom in on that for a second. It's a fully functioning log truck. You guys wrap your head around that. 1948, that was the creme de la creme for a log truck. It's incredible. All right, more 379 Peterbilts. We're gonna go over here in a minute, not yet. This is the Kenworth W900 model. Peterbilt log truck. Old, old Kenworth with a flatbed on the back. All in truck. That thing's awesome. This looks a lot like Merlin Johnson's uh, old school garage. He's got a similar, his is newer, but it's a similar, and he's got a roll bed on his. This isn't a roll bed, this is a fixed bed, but similar setup. 
another George Van Dyke truck. Absolutely beautiful working truck. This is truck 23 and truck 22. And I think George is actually here. Dude is a legend in this area. And I, I say that seriously, he is a legend in this area. Attention to detail that these guys put in these trucks is unbelievable. Comment below if you guys are truck guys or not, but I mean, these things are polished and taken care of better than most pickup trucks. 